so this is going to be a Taurus Sun Moon Iron as well rising weekly general tarot reading uh, January 20th to January 26th uh, 2020 and uh, in case guys you want to get in touch with me for a personal reading you can check the description down below and there you're gonna find a, a link to my website uh, another thing I want to tell you is that in this video I'm gonna try something different here it's called reading in string which means no specific positions just seven cards and whatever they show uh, they show so uh, let's make the cut here and let's try it out shall we so the first card about the week for you Taurus it is going to be the four of wands uh, so four of wands it's a quite of a uh, pleasant card to see especially as the first one because it does mark this week as a closure of a chapter uh, on its own four of wands it is like a um, a significant milestone and let me try to explain you what I mean so you plan about something and finally this plan could come to uh, can and will come into fruition in this particular week you are dating with someone these dates are to come into fruition in this week so th this four of wands on its own it kind of points that you are gonna have a, a reason to celebrate it is because your hard work is going to be rewarded with a fruition, whatever the hard work it is all about. Uh, if we have to judge by the ones, it's most likely about career, but it is not excluded as well to be a about relationship. Just in general, you accept that this is a, a hard work comes into a fruition and gives you the reason to celebrate about it, to be happy about it, you know. Um, in a more, um, how can I say it? Um, material level i would say or a practical level four of wands also points that you will have no problems whatsoever to make friends throughout this week so if you lack into social circle and you're feeling lonely it will be a, a perfect time for you to go out and socialize with people celebrate with people and that way it seems that you are going to um make your social circle much more abundant than before now the second card we do have it is the eight of swords and that card points that throughout the week it does look like the two tauruses are gonna have a rather difficult time to um get on the same page with uh, different people for a, uh, important things in life and as well with yourself also because the eight of swords in that particular case to me speaks above everything else about a self-imposed limitations that needs to be brought down in other words you have to start thinking and doing things that are outside the box that you have set for yourself um eight of swords also relates to truths what i mean it is that um there are certain things in your life, career or relationship wise, that you are not just only suspicious about, but you also know that they are just as they are, just as they are presenting themselves to you. And while it is not very pleasant to accept that it is what it is, uh, you are kind of like more prone to hope that this is going to change well as soon as you accept the truth the sooner you accept that the truth is the truth or rather rather, rather like it is what it is the uh, sooner you are going to free yourself from uh, the stagnation you may find yourself in a certain endeavors uh, throughout the week finally eight of swords may be related to certain uh, small obstacles that you are finding here and there mainly related to career and those obstacles are most likely caused because someone is sniffing around and uh, once you identify that person definitely those uh, and kind of like sap their interference with your projects definitely those uh, obstacles are going to diminish abate and vanish entirely okay so third one that we do have it is a person for you and that is going to be the page of swords someone who is calling you out in that particular uh, in that particular reading and uh, how they are calling you out well it does look like that you have left uh, left misunderstood here with the eight of swords and that person is twisting your words or in other words is using your words against you so because the uh, page of swords 
are people who are very skilled into twisting fictions as facts, presenting them and making other people believe to believe into fallacies. And that's why um, you have to stick to the, how can I say it, to the arguments or rather like you have to stick to the proven concepts, to the proven things. And uh, eventually as you do so, you will be able to uh, completely detach yourself in any kind of relation with the uh, Page of Swords. It is because Page of Swords, you cannot win with this one. I mean, it, they are, um, I don't know if you're familiar with this term. The, the term is called sophist. It comes from ancient Greece and it's, uh, it's the mastery of, reading, uh, of leading arguments. Uh, the, the sophists are people who can make others believe that the black is white and vice versa by exactly twisting arguments, presenting fictions as facts and making the audience to believe into fallacy, into fallacies until at the end you believe, you starting believe into all fallacies as well because thinking that if everybody thinks that I'm wrong, then why should I think that I'm right, okay? So that kind of a person you will have to tackle with for throughout the week and the only way you win here, it is if you detach yourself from them. It is because this is what they do. They, um, kind of like uh, put sister against sister, they put brother against brother, they put family against family, it is just what they do. Uh, very intellectual people, uh, intellectually agile people, very smart. The only problem with them, it is that they don't see that they don't have to gain anything from it. What I mean it is that everything that they do, it is rather pointless and you are contributing into their drama or into the situation that they are creating, again, pointless. You have nothing to gain from it. So how this is to manifest, I do suspect that that is someone who is gonna be jealous of your uh, manifestation here with the four of wands and will try to ruin the good experience for you. Most likely making, uh, trying to make you believe that actually your milestone is not as significant as you think it is. So don't pay attention to these kind of people who are trying to diminish, you know, your progress or the impact of your progress. The fourth card, now we do have another person here, that is going to be the uh, Knight of Cups. Now, Knight of Cups, they are most likely emotionally related. That could be a lover that comes around. Now, um, even if it is not lover, definitely they do have an emotional attachment towards you. Why? It is because Knight of Cups, they always are following the the dreams of their heart. And as this person appears into your reading, for one or another reason, you are taking a participation or you are a dream of their heart and therefore they are following the dreams of their heart. Now, one thing I want to warn you about the Knights of uh, Cups it is that they do have pure intentions, but they tend to talk big without actually having anything to support it. Not that they are trying to lie to you in any way, it is just they are willing to offer you the world, it is just they have no idea how they are gonna do that. So <clears throat> that being said, uh, I'm, or kind of like I'm, I'm saying that it is because it is highly likely that throughout the week, especially if you are single, to get involved into someone with the Knights of, uh, with the Knights of Cups. And if you are that kind of a person who has a, a pure trust into the words of other, it is you are going to disappoint it very, very quickly of that they are promising you everything, and at the end of the day, they are not giving you much in return. All right, so you have to be the objective one into that situation. But the good thing about the Knights of Cups it is that they do not, uh, how can I say, rely on chances. What I mean it is that if they want something, they will do what they can in order to uh, in order to achieve it because they do believe that results are only only going to come around with actions. So if they find you attractive, they want to be with you, they will constantly text you, for example, seek your attention, and so on and so forth. The uh, next card, which is the fifth one here, is going to be the Five of Cups. And as we speak, uh, spoke, uh, I have, as we spoke about a disappointment, this is what the Five of Cups refers to that every disappointment that you may face throughout the week, every loss as well that you may face 
throughout the week is not going to be a significant one, which means that you can quickly recuperate or you can simply, you know, call it a day and move on from there. It is, remember, whatever disappointment you face throughout the week, it is not something that you can die from and it is not something that you cannot forgive. And whatever loss you have to experience throughout the week with this card, it is not a... Uh, a temporary one, but rather it is not a permanent one, excuse me, but it is rather temporary one. So whatever you have lost can be regained. And additionally to that, this appointment or a loss, it is should not be a reason nor a prerequisite for you to abandon your drive. So whatever goal you have here with the four of wands, even if you kind of like experience certain troubles with people around, with actions, promises as well. That should not be, once again, a reason or a prerequisite to abandon this goal. The uh, next card, which is the sixth one here for you, Taurus, that is going to be your card, Hierophant, which is exactly Taurus representative into Tarot. And uh, the Hierophant for you, it kind of points that also the week is going to be a week where you're going to talk about a lot. So, I mean, talk about um, of yourself, of your uh, dreams, of your goals as well with uh, a very experienced individual, okay? Your mentor, for example, your priest, for example, your father or your mother, someone who already have been there. Now, that person on its own accord is going to offer you a, a benevolent support, very important guidance, and as well, um, the deeply meaningful and profound conversations which you together are going to lead into the, um, that regards to uh, your personal uh, agenda and to your personal issues that you are dealing with right now is going to help you to resolve your issues. It is because this is the way how you're going to see that the issues you are tackling with can be resolved into the already existing framework of um, um, of ways moving forward, all right? It's like you don't have to reinvent the wheel. People already dealt with it, and this is exactly how you have to deal with it. On a more practical level, the Hierophant points that throughout this week, you are going to find what is true love and as well what trust really means, okay? That without trust, there is no love. Without intentions, there is no job as well. So it's kind of like it's something that I don't know how to put you in English words, but it is in an event that you're going to have in between you and your priest, for example, like I said, your mentor or a, a very important person in your life that is going to set you into a, a straight line, the right line. And the last card, which is the seventh one here for you, Taurus, is going, Taurus is going to be a Ace of Pentacles, which uh, most likely manifests itself uh, at the end of the week for you. So where this is all leading to? Well, Ace of Pentacles here points that as a result of all that, you will have your air opportunity to further your goal in everything you do to further your goal into your relationship, to further your goal into your career as well, because the Ace of Pentacles points that this week is going to lead you into harmoniously flowing relationships and relationship, if romantic relationship it is your goal, and as well, success into one's business, most likely a, a monetary success as well. So, uh, Taurus, it looks like that uh, this uh, week it is rather very beneficial for you guys. It is only you do do not have to allow anybody to ruin the experience for you with fallacies and with a fictions presented as facts. Stick to those who loves you and listen to those who are more experienced than you are and that it is all that you need to do in order to close a chapter into your life and have your opportunity to further from there and continue on growing into your relationship and into your career life. So that was your reading. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and um, you liked it. Hopefully you are pleased with this way of reading the cards and uh, we are going to see each other around now. Until then, bye.